this episode of the Horror Basement could be brought by you. If you'd like to advertise on the Horror Basement podcast for a small fee, get in contact with us at TennesseeHorrorNews at gmail.com. Check out Nightmare Toys for all your horror collectible needs at NightmareToys.com. Hi, I'm Bill Mosley, and you're in the Horror Basement with Jim Jam and Johnny Leroy. <laughs> Lick my plate, you dog dick. Welcome to the Horror Basement, the Tennessee Horror News Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Johnny Leroy. And as always, we got Jim Jam here with us. Jim Jam here. Also, we got Yeti on the phone. What's up? Mr. Yeti. How are you today, Yeti? I'm doing good, doing good. Good. Are you, are you feeling good? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, just so we get all this out of the way. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Horamino, Vero, Snapchat, yeah, Vero. That's the one I was trying to remember. Yeah, I'm still not on there. But well, there's so many though. It's hard to. My space, who else is on Vero? I don't even know. Yeah, you on Vero? Shit, no, dude. I, I heard about I heard about the history of the guy who runs Vero. Like I didn't do a bunch of fact checking and shit, but I, I read a few articles about it, and I won't touch that shit. No. Nah. <laughs> Maybe we should pull it. <laughs> and you can hear this uh, podcast on SoundCloud, Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio. Yeah, Stitcher Radio, Blueberry, yep. and probably some other places that I can't think of. YouTube. YouTube, definitely. The video, you can watch this video. We, this will be a video podcast. So. Yes, it will. Um, I guess Death House. We had a successful showing of uh, a premiere in Nashville at Full Moon Cineplex. Thanks to Ben Dixon for uh, letting us yes. uh, do this there, which he was, you know, he's good friends with uh, Gunner, and uh, Gunner's been in some of his movies, and he also, he was excited to do it because he also premiered Victor Crowley there as well during last year's uh, Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival. So he was more than happy to do it, and thanks to Hanover House for being open to this and uh, allowing, yeah, sure. and them both to allowing Tennessee Horror News to host it, and um, and also I want to thank Harrison for coming on Skype. <laughs> A very uh, technically, oh, it, went, it wasn't as bad as you think it was. Like, yeah. That's the thing. Like you, you was up there dealing with it, but it wasn't really that bad. Yeah, I was yeah, up I'm there. Sure it was really frustrating, but oh. like in the audience, dude. Yeah, we were, it was. It, it actually it made was, it more it enjoyable because we could see him, and then we didn't see him, and then we could hear him, but we couldn't see him. So oh, yeah. it was more like so I hear people laughing down there, and I'm still yeah. up there. I'm like fucking dripping sweat everywhere. I'm like fuck, fuck, yeah, fuck. Like, it wasn't bad for us though. Like we didn't give a shit. We knew what was going on, or I think I knew what was going on, maybe yeah. more than others. But, but. from my, it was yeah. cool to get to see, you know, like, because I went up there and you got to see the projector, and I'm more like a technical guy, so I was like, oh my god, this is so fucking cool. But, uh, yeah. So. Because yeah, I was just in the audience when the Tennessee Horror News logo popped up. Oh, Tennessee Horror News, I love those guys. <laughs> some great guys over there. Yeah, Tennessee Horror News. And, and the best thing is, it was the Tennessee Horror News American flag logo. Yeah. America. America. <laughs> America, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who sings that song, though? America. I don't know. Fuck yeah. I have no clue. Yeah, well, anyways. But uh, I'd like to thank... And Kane Hodder for showing up. And, fuck and yeah, being that such was, a great yeah. guy. Like, he took his time with everyone. Like, when we was there after the show, like, people were lining up to take pictures of him in the theater. And then, of course, we had to move out because there was a 9 o'clock showing. And we moved out into the... Lobby. Lobby area. And, uh... He took his time and talked to everyone, signed autographs from people. And thanks to, was it Hanover House that sent all the posters? Oh, yeah, they sent a ton of posters. A shit ton. And like, I was, like, thinking they'd send, like, four or five posters and a signed one. 
No. It was like 15 posters or 20. It, it was a lot. Yeah. There was a lot of posters, and which was freaking awesome because the poster was is awesome. Yeah, it's even got a back, a mirrored back one. Yeah, so. I think it, is that what you call it, mirrored, Eddie? That poster? How it was like reversed on the back side of it? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it was cool. It was just like if you hung it up into in a, some glass and if it spun around, like you'd be able to see it. You could take a selfie with it and read it. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, and Kane, he just sat there, took his time, took a picture with all the the Tennessee Horror News crew that was there. Isaac had to leave because you know he had to go home, and then <clears throat> Bree couldn't make it. And who else was it? It's th- the models that you know. Two of them live out of state, and then uh, Sav, well, she just happened to be out of town this week. So, yeah. but her boyfriend come out, so you know. She was there in spirit, I guess, and all of them. But, yeah, uh, we, we appreciate everybody that showed up. Uh, and then, you know, we got Kayla to show up. She drove all the way from Atlanta, and then Yeti, of course, drove all the way from pretty much Knoxville, right? Somewhere around. Yeah, a little bit south of Knoxville. So, yeah. Yeah, so, so I mean, people drove hours to get there to watch this movie. It was worth the trip. Too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kay- oh, shit. Kayla seemed to be thrilled because hell. Oh, she got to meet Kane Hodder, which I Well, you know, Kane Hodder was down. He was... He's he hugged up on her. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo. Well, but which, I mean, she loved it. So, and that's what, I mean. That's what matters, yeah. Yeah, and people were there to see him and, you know, to shake hands with him. And women, I'm sure, you know, to get a hug from him. You know. Oh, yeah. And he brought his sons out. Because the whole thing is um, how this worked out is just so happened Kane Hodder's son, one of his sons, go to Vanderbilt. And the way, you know, I said. I was emailing back and forth with everybody, and yeah, Ben so, was yeah. like, just so happened Kane would be in town this thir- uh, Thursday the 22nd. What? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that made it even, like, just the event, just so much yeah. more to offer. Like, a, even more of a reason to show up. Yeah, I found out about this. Like, I woke up at 1 o'clock in the morning a week before this and saw that message, and I was like, couldn't go back to sleep. Yeah, I was like pretty much static. Yeah, pretty much, Death House wouldn't probably wouldn't have been shown in Nashville. Because yeah, it kept getting fucking pushed around from these big theaters. Yeah, because the Regal market, they didn't. They didn't want to. With Black Panther on still, and the money that it's raking in, and then the other new movies that are coming. Like, they didn't want to. Uh, they didn't want to use, use a theater. A theater. For Death House, because they didn't think it would bring the money that yeah. the other movies would have brought. Which it would have sold out a theater, I mean, so, but whatever. They would have got their money money regardless. Yeah, but anyways, I mean. But I'm it glad it, it got is. happened at Full Moon yeah. Cineplex, because the it, seats were crazy. You know, you got a table, three chairs around it, you can... You know, they have beer there. Yeah, alcohol, and that's the one thing is, is they serve they serve beer and, you know, but they do dinner and a movie like on Fridays and Saturdays nights, correct? Yeah. Like they, they have dinner and then... And, yeah. uh... Yeah, they do dinner and a movie and, I mean, it's really nice. I, that's the first time we got, we've seen it. You know, we we watched, seen it when it was being built. Yeah, yeah, we got to go in there and look at it while they were building it. And, and we got cool. to sit there and watch a movie. Fortunately, we you know with we haven't been able to make it up there, which is unfortunate. Yeah, but uh, which makes I'm me glad. want to go back now and oh, go watch yeah. more movies up there. I'm definitely yeah. glad we got to go and, and experience Death House there. Like I want to oh, go. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I keep on interrupting you. Oh, it's the the whole fear from the time you walk in the door. All the way back to the seat. Like, if you haven't been there, you have to fucking go. There's, I mean. Say that again, like, idiot broke up. In. Oh, um, if you're, if you're anywhere near it, you have to go there. Yeah, like, I mean, the core. sheer collection of shit that they have is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's the whole, like, the whole vibe there. Like, I hate theaters. <clears throat> I will. I will wait for a movie to come out because I hate going to theaters. But that's like I would I would drive the three hours to go see a movie there again. Yeah, it's definitely a, an experience in itself. And um, yeah, it's, the, the collection that of just movie posters and horror memorabilia and all that stuff is just amazing. But they don't just show horror stuff. House. I think 
<clears throat> this coming week that was playing something that's like Rocky. That. Yeah, Rocky. Rocky one and two. So I mean, it would it would actually been cool to to go watch like eat dinner and watch fucking Rocky like on a big screen. Yeah, but that would you know, be the shit. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool. <laughs> I I want to get them to do Tucker and Dale versus Evil. I want to see it on the theater. Oh man, I would. That would. I, I wonder if the second one will come to theaters, dude. If that's possible, maybe we can pull it but off. But the first one was so epic on that movie. You seen Tucker and Dale, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. Like the, <laughs> like the first one was so good. Like how? What are you gonna do with the second? I don't care. I would watch it regardless. <clears throat> Tucker and Dale go to the city. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. Just yeah. That movie. Was maybe they're back amazing. exact same spot, and maybe it just. Happen all over again, dude. That'd be so. You fucked couldn't up. rekindle, it, you know, everything that happened, but just so happened they go back and they no. end up like, how do we get into the same shit again? Tucker, <laughs> like, is sheriff now because didn't the sheriff get killed? Yeah, like well, one of them was the sheriff or some you shit, you know, like just in the fucking. <laughs> dude, <laughs> just, what do you think? Yeah, do you think? Uh, um, yeah. One of them would be a sheriff, another would be the and, deputy. And, yeah, one of them to be a deputy, and there's like a whole bunch of unexplained murders going on, and uh, they go out there, and, and the same shit kind of shit's happening, and it turns out that, that whole area is just cursed, but it's, it can't be anything like super demonic. It's got to be something dumb. Yeah. You know, like some like hillbilly witch curse or some stupid shit. Hold on, hold on. This is where that we can work. bring in hand job cabin. Oh God! We can do a that cross don't like that. Don't even <laughs> no, it's cabin. It'd be a cabin in the woods. But, but you could just do like one one thing where one dude's getting jerked off to death. Yes. Okay, that works. But I don't think that'd be an awesome kill right there. The okay. Drop kill. This is gonna, dude. That this would be so fucked segue. up if that, if that was in Friday the Thirteenth and like he walks up to him and he like does the reach around. <laughs> it jerks them off to death like it's in the fucking video game this uh, I want this to segue in you know we'll go back to death house in a minute but I sent a message I don't think I sent it to you too but um I watched a movie last night with my wife oh I seen you tweet it out night of something strange dude this motherfucking movie is so fucked up it's, was it on shutter yeah the the a way you get a transmitted uh, the disease mm-hmm. is through it's like an STD. It's sexually transmitted and it turns when and the only way to kill them is you got to destroy their penis or vagina. Well, there's your uh, your there's curling you. iron kill. Right there, dude. <laughs> I'm that's gonna, like that one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, that's shit, like the man. one. That's like the one curse where like you gotta have sex with someone to get the the whatever that's inside you out of you. Like yeah. you gotta pass yeah. it on, you know, whatever that fucking movie. You're pretty sure yeah, it was a it follows. movie. The hollows. It follows. Oh, it follows. Yeah. Yeah that that movie fucking sucked. Like I just, I don't, I've never seen it. I just remember like you gotta have sex with someone and to get follow. the curse to. Come out, come off. Yeah, of it's some like. Is that, is that a metaphor for STDs? Yeah, no, it is. It's, it comes off like this heavy handed moral, like, promiscuous sex is bad, fucking. Well, that's what all the old movies were about, anyway. It's like Friday the 13th. Yeah, I know, was, but this was. Don't like, have sex in Jason's Woods? Bad. Yeah, don't have sex in Jason's Woods? <laughs> don't get well, drunk I mean, in my woods? It, well, you get the fuck off his lawn. And never, ever, ever go skinny dipping <laughs> my lakes. Yeah. And getting your getting your ball juice all in the water, and then the fish eat it, and then, and then when they go fishing, you got ball juice fish. I mean, come on, man, you don't want that. <laughs> it's getting dark over here. I wasn't like Romero stuff was uh, about the government. That's who was saying. Uh, they said that yeah. there was some sort of tie-in with that. Yeah, like all of his movies. I think the one tie-in. where it was in the mall that was consumerism. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, well, a lot of Romero's. It wasn't just like the government. It was just like social commentary. Like whether or not he meant to or not, it just that's how it led into it. Yeah. I, 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 I'm pretty sure it was intentional. But yeah, that's that's. I, I think that's what made uh, the first dead movie. So. Uh, 
so big was like the, the, the underlying social commentary. Everybody was kind of sick of the bullshit that was going on. Uh, so he used and to see it played out like that. I so he was able cool. to throw in shit happening and throw some fucking crazy ass zombies in there with it and make a badass movie. Yeah, yeah. And now he is dubbed the Zombie King, right? King of Zombies. The he's the god of uh, zombies. Yeah, he's, he's definitely the, the creator. He is the, creator. the head necromancer. <laughs> Yeah, because if there was no Romero, there would be no Walking Dead or so on. There would be no Which Resident I Evil. True. Yeah, that would bum me out. <clears throat> Walking Dead, meh. <laughs> I could go without it, but yeah, Resident Evil's, you know. Even though they fucking did terrible on the movies, which... Like I sent a picture out of the... Someone made a... Is, is that the movies with Mila Djokovic? Yeah. yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, but I, I sent a picture out of uh, someone made a fake She's poster of uh, a possible Netflix series Resident Evil. If they focus strictly on the mansion for the, a long time, I would that would be awesome because that's where the first game took place. The whole game was at the mansion. Yeah, I never played those games. Uh, I I played them religiously till uh, part four, and then I quit playing for a long time. And then I had kids. I played and the latest one for about an hour. Yeah, so like, seven, I'm, like when I try to play them, it's just like I don't understand what's going on. So pretty fun. I just like, oh this. yeah. Do you play seven? Yeah, the, that's the latest one, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I went. It's, I think games are kind of like movies. A lot of them, the more the more they fucking make, like they do. A, they actually they made do a, a really shitty job at. They made a new movie not too long ago, but it's an animated movie. I'm not sure. You could reach more with animation, with an, you know the anime or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. If it's uh, I don't know. I have a hard time. I might like it though. But uh, to go back to the uh, the strange, whatever the fuck I said it was, that movie you sh y'all should both check out because we you know have Shutter. Yeah. But uh, you'll laugh your fucking ass off at some. Of the There's some stuff in there that happens, and I'm sitting there like. I'll definitely have to so, check it out. You have to remind me. It's a whole lot of WTF in that movie. Oh, man. I love it. I, I think we're going to check that out tonight. Yes, sir. Uh, I expect a very comical review, Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> Probably get one. Yeah, just don't, just don't overdo things, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, no, I... Uh... <laughs> I learned my lesson. I kept time. looking over because Yeti was right across the walkway from me, but his back was to me, and he was just—he was still the whole time. His head, it's like every time I look, his head never moved. He was just like <laughs> just glued to the screen. So I don't want to say I want to get—I don't want to give no reviews on this podcast about it because you know we have pretty much all the writers working on a review. Mm -hmm. So there will be. No, both I'm sides. Give my review of well, yeah, podcast, Johnny Cancer. I mean, <laughs> we're gonna give both sides. Well, I guess it'll have you can give Yeti side of the what he thought about that. Well, he can I, mean, they can read. I haven't written mine yet, and this will totally help. Yeah. Oh, okay, go ahead. Well, Let's talk about Death House. Yes, I would do it. Did you like uh, it? Did y'all like it? Good. Yeti, you go first. The movie was good. The experience was fucking mind blowing. We can get into that later. Uh, like, I, you know, I've heard people be like, well, there's, cause, uh, like Harrison Smith said, that there's gonna be like one more sequel. So, it's already planned out. And they left, like, I feel like they left a lot of shit unanswered and wide open and frankly confusing. Uh, as to what the fuck's really going on, you know? Yeah. But, uh... Well, that is one of the things, like, what is going on? Yeah, I yeah. What the fuck is really going on? Like I, uh, I enjoyed it, though. It was cool. I had a good time. I enjoyed the movie. No, I did enjoy the movie. And I liked it. But it seemed a little choppy. Like, I don't know... But, like, I sit there and I think about it, and... 
I really want to watch it again so that I can see what I missed because like Harris said you got to think yeah. in this movie it's not a it is a movie where you think about stuff and then like you leave the movie you're like why was it like that and then you, you talk it out with people and then you think more about it and you're like oh okay yeah like the Tony Todd his character well he had like magical powers and shit but they didn't go yeah. into what them were or like he was just collecting people and I understand you need someone to collect people, but why did, Why was he magical? Is he going to be in the second film? Are they going to explain that? They probably want those questions asked because then they yeah, might. Yeah, I think that's what it did. Might hit on like you sit there the and you one. think about the movie. Because like, Harrison, didn't he say that the second one is already written? Yeah, I believe yeah. he said that, yeah. Well, hopefully, accent, and then like we were discussing, me, my wife, and Johnny was discussing on the way home. Hopefully, um,. Uh, or I was saying that I think this was pretty much a movie just to introduce the five evils because the next movies that come out are going to do with them and they I think they all get their own movie that's what he said a while back was that the plan was is, is if it does well enough but see he said Death House 2 oh well you well, know Boys so, have five more after Death House I don't 2? know see that's I, uh, there's a lot of questions Maybe that's what he was talking about when, you know, you got to thank him in this movie. Maybe that's what it is, is because there's and, so and, much questions. And waiting on this movie for so long, and, like, I think I look at it at too critical of an eye because, like, the one scene where they're going down the elevator with a freaking shirt or whatever wrapped around their hand, and you're sliding down on a metal, you know. Why were they shooting? Is what I'm wondering. That was that was my question. It was like, the did only, you have too much fucking ammo? The, here's is my that, only thing that I can tell you what I would say I while they're shooting. I don't believe is it because was. how fucking boring would it be if they just slid down? Yeah, well, you, you know what I'm saying. Like they had to do something. Like they're just sliding okay. down, so they have to they have to shoot just to make it something, you know, because it would be boring yeah. as fuck just them sliding down but on a they, fucking... They could have had, like, maybe it not going as fast and people on different levels hanging out trying to shoot at them or something, and they could be shooting at those people. Yeah. There wasn't... I mean, there could have been... But that's where I was like, well, I don't really need to overthink this because it's just a fucking... They're just sliding down on a wire. Yeah. They're shooting. It's just they're trying to put I, action I, in it. I was kind of mo- in the moment thinking, well, why the fuck are they shooting? Yeah. And then, maybe the shooting trying to slow them down. Or, but then, I was squinting. I was like, is they folks reaching out of the holes at them or something? But, yeah. I, I was, but see, that's where I was saying, Chalky, where they, like, they were sliding down and then it would cut to... A cell, I guess, where they or the floor that they pass, and like you couldn't tell people were being shot or not. Like I was just like, what? But I then but, I was like, man, I'm being way too overcritical on this. But then you got the fucking metal music going. And there's like, <laughs> you're just like, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah man. You know that soundtrack though. The soundtrack. I think good. they have uh, twisted as the soundtrack, is it? I don't know. Yeah, twisted's on there. Yeah. I, I I like. Watch the I watched the music credits at the end. I can't remember most of it. Yeah, them, I did too. And it wasn't a long credit sequence. No. I wish... Uh, I mean, you know, compared to other movies, which know, is independent. Two years movies. promoting, you know, could have threw our logo yeah. <laughs> credit yeah, scene somewhere. Funny. I would have just settled for a stringer, but... Uh, Dead House All Around, I like it. I want to watch it again because I think there's some stuff that I... I, w- I want to get to understand more of it, and you know what I'm saying, like yeah. because, like I said, it makes you think. Like, what is t- who is Tony Todd and the- who's his character? Like, that's what I really want to know. The motherfucker's magic. Yeah, I think he said it had a like a in the Skype call. He said it had a real like Escape from New York vibe, that kind of era. Yeah. And th- those, like, back then, you know, you had to think about movies. You had to watch a movie four or five times to really grasp what the fuck was going on. Uh, I think that's I think that's the issue with this. We saw it one time, and we're just like, Yeah, well, that's... Well, what's fuck, dude? The, you got but so the many questions. next time we watch it... Yeah. Yeah. We'll okay. watch it again, because I plan on watching it at least one more time, because I feel oh, like... Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, and that's what yeah, Harrison was just like, more. this movie right here... It, you gotta go. It's gonna make you think. It's not a dumb movie. 
you know, where you just sit back, turn your brain off, like some of the movies that I mentioned when we was there talking to Kane. Yeah. The Steven Seagal yeah. movies for me, like, you don't have to think about that. And that's movie. the crazy thing. He started telling us that he he was in the Steven Seagal movies. Yeah. And I was just like, well, them movies, I mean, which is how I've always felt about Steven Seagal movies. I, I, I enjoy watching them. But my dad loved watching them, and you just turn your brain off and you just watch it. And you see yeah. people get killed and fucking ass kicking. Like, it's not like the fucking fantastic movies, you know? Jeez. You don't go around talking about, man, did you see that time where, you know, he killed this guy in that way? No, it's just you watch the movie, enjoyed it, and go on. Yeah. Just watch the movie, well, pretend, pretend to be an Andy for two hours. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. That's the most racially confused motherfucker on the planet. Anyway, Steven Seagal, man, he's like, he's like, he wears kimonos around. Oh, yeah. And like, I mean, come on, dude. Tries to act like he's an Indian and shit. <laughs> Poor, sad white boy. Yeah. I, I, I heard, know he trained in Japan. and I always like, heard that uh, he got fucked, in the, fucked up in the mafia and they started... That's why he quit doing so many movies, because the mafia would come in and bully him and tell him if he didn't give him so much money after each movie that uh, uh, they would kill him or some shit. When you... It seems like God makes a movie or two every year. Yeah. Like, he, he has a movie come out every year, you just don't ever see it. And, <laughs> like, in all honesty, it just goes straight to video. But... He only had two big movies that I can really think of. Under Siege and uh, the other one that I fucking can't think of. But it's only like two movies that were huge. Well, wasn't he in one of them uh, movies with DMX? Yeah. Yeah. uh, Aaliyah Aaliyah was in it too? I don't know if she was. What was that? What was that fucking movie? I think it was what? Cradle to the Grave, but I'm probably wrong. I'm looking. About I'm IDB in it. What are IMDB in it? How do we get off on Steven Seagal movies when we're talking about Death House? <laughs> the conversation that led up to talking about yeah. Steven Seagal is fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> There's a TV show, Cradle to the Grave. I don't think it's Cradle to the Grave. That don't make that don't sound right at all. It's probably not. No. I think that's it, a Jet Li movie. Cradle to the... Oh, yeah, it's got Jet Li in it. DMX and Jet Li. But, um... Oh. Death House is one of the movies where you got to think, and it makes you question some things. Uh, exit like, Wounds is what it was. Yeah, Exit Wounds. But, uh... uh. Also, it, it makes you ask the question, who are the agents? You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, why didn't they die at the end, like everybody else in the prison... With the gas that went off. And this spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Whatever. Oh, yeah. But, uh, well, I mean, we're ruining a lot of this for everybody, but, like, it matters. You can watch it on Netflix next month. Isn't it coming to Netflix? Or it's supposed to be out on video in April on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix next month is what I can Unless it does well enough to get put more and more theaters. Well, they're they're promoting like hell to get it into other cities, so... And it's definitely you need if you get the opportunity to go watch it in a theater. Oh, that's I would, another. Th- I would say go. Yeah, that's another thing I want to say. D- go to Death House's Facebook page, and they're making events for a lot of t- uh, a lot of places. And the whole thing is, if they get two hundred people, more than likely it's going to happen. In well, that and state or city or whatever. Like I, I wanted to put on there, but I didn't. Like on you know people asking for it to come. Find an independent theater in your city, or your town, your whatever, your city. Call them up and ask them. Yeah, request them to do it. Say, hey, do you have anything going on? Can, and get Hanover House involved with it. Say, hey, there's a movie I'd like to come. And is it possible if, you know, just make friends with them. Talk to them and just ask, hey, can you do this? Because the bigger theaters are going to be more likely to push it out because of, you know... Bigger movies. Bigger movies. But if you can get a small, independently owned theater... And there's tons of these places all around the country. Yeah. But Full Moon Cineplex is, a, you know, in Nashville just so happens. I'm sure there's even more in Nashville. Yeah, I imagine. But perfect place for it. And I'm sure in whoever's listening in your town, I'm almost guaranteed there's a there's theater somewhere. Like somewhere. Yeah. There's something, and 
the thing is, is get multiple people to call. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you get a group of people to say, hey, call, call this number and and ask them. Call your fucking Regal in your area and ask if them. You get, if you get a ton of people blowing them up asking for the movie. Yeah, that, that likely, makes yeah that makes a big difference. They're like, maybe we should get this movie because I'm sure there's been a... I mean, even if it's yeah. for one night. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, that was only one night in Nashville, but... Which it would have been more, but... Ben had to go do stuff. I mean, yeah, he, I mean, luckily that's one thing that he did. He he was supposed to be somewhere, and he yeah. changed his plans just to be able to do this. Because so. what's it called? It's going on right now. Uh, Transworld. Yeah, Transworld, and that's where all the haunt, you know, owners. Ben and Stacy own Slaughterhouse. Yeah, that's where they're all, they're all at. And he's like, "Oh shit! Well, Kane Hodder's going to be there. Death House. Uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I let's will do this. Skip one night, of it, which his wife was already there. So Stacy Dixon. But, um, but, I mean, you know, like, he took time out of his personal life to fucking, you know. Help do this. and Yeah, we and appreciate that, that a lot. Fuck yeah. I mean, but all in all, I enjoyed Death House. I got questions about it. and Guess what? And maybe we'll get Harrison on, and then I'll ask him all my questions. Tennessee Horror News for the win. Yeah. Along yeah. with oh, Death yeah. House and uh, Hanover, uh, Hanover House. House and the Indie Horror... <laughs> What was the it? House of Indie Horror. The House of Indie Horror. Of independent oh, horror films. Fuck that up. But, uh, yeah, again, appreciate all uh, Har- Harrison, Hanover House, and Ben Dixon for... And we appreciate uh, Judy, the manager for all these actors. Yes. Or, or a lot of the actors for being able to be able to talk to them on our podcast and stuff. You know, one of them, Lindsay Hartley, the, the girl of the five evils, she didn't have very many... No, um, she didn't. Well, no, no, much. there wasn't a lot. Michael Berryman didn't. Sid Haig didn't have a big part. Like they had cameos. You see, you see the, uh, Tony Moran? He was standing beside Kane Hodder for a couple of about a, a scene or something. I didn't even notice him. Yeah, I thought he might have. Well, hey, well, while we're like you know giving kind of shout outs to folks and shit. Yeah, I have access to the Tennessee Horror News emails, and I read that thread. And fucking Jim Jim Jam's not giving himself enough credit. Well, he, like for real, nah, this yeah. shit. He was instrumental in nah. putting Dan in contact with the folks from Hanover House. Fuck it. <laughs> so without Jim Jam, that shit wouldn't have happened. Nope. Uh, I already <laughs> told him that. You don't need to get his head too big because <laughs> I've already told him this. And... My, hey, my headphones can, aren't fitting no more. <laughs> yeah, I've already told him this, and but like he said, yeah. you know, we're all Tennessee horror news, and we all reap the rewards of Jim Jam. Oh shit, yeah, y'all are all that. welcome, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I reap more rewards than a lot of the others, but <laughs> that's one thing that when stuff like this happens, I want to stress to everybody, mainly in the Tennessee horror news, and that. If I don't talk to you, please don't. Well, I don't talk be to offended. Any. I don't. Johnny, talk to, well, Johnny's just an asshole. I don't, asshole. Talk, to I don't talk to any of them. So but they have more dealings with you. I do talk, but I'm fucking like. Oh, you talking about there in person? Oh yeah, when I'm in person, people like like man, he didn't talk to me or he wasn't he was acting weird. Or it's because I was fucking tripping balls because I was wanting to get upstairs, get this shit going because it was getting close to seven because we were running behind because my wife had to work. She yeah. works till four thirty, so and then we had to deal with national traffic. Yeah, so Jesus. fucking shit. So Everybody got, getting off work and so shit. So we got there thirty minutes beforehand and he was still having to check in people and Ben was like I said, he stayed so this this yeah, theater I mean, really wouldn't have been good. open on Thursday night and let and so he was doing a lot of the you know, he had two of his workers two of the haunt actors there doing the concessions for him. Thanks to them too. Yeah. Um, Tracy even showed up. Tracy West, one of the actors. But anyways, so Ben was there doing all the tickets. You know, looking. He had all the papers out, going through all that. So yeah, it it started a little late, but I one thing that I, <laughs> I couldn't, I didn't have a long enough wire for the mic, so Harrison couldn't hear or see nobody. So I there's a little hole where the projector shoots the stream the video out, 
So I just <laughs> push the damn mic through and drop it. And and I didn't see it because there's a ledge uh, underneath where I was. And I couldn't see Kane. So Kane walked in and heard him talking. And um, I had the mic. Someone took a picture on the on the Facebook group or something. And it you could see the mic. Oh, yeah, it's like two the feet mic was head. hanging about two feet from Kane Hodder's head. So he could talk to Harrison. And yeah. Harrison can hear everybody. So I wish I would have been more prepared for that. So next time if we yeah, do that. that I think everything that we do is a learning experience. We, we go into stuff yeah. and we don't know what's going on with it. Because like you, if you've never done it and you've never been at that certain venue and you don't get the time to go in a day ahead or whatever to see what's going on, then, yeah, it's going to be a learning experience. It turned out good to me. I mean, that shit didn't. So, oh, yeah. Because Kane come in, and he talked, and talked There's to the audience, even, and making fun of Harrison a little bit, and for the first, Harrison couldn't hear him, but he was making fun of him, and shit was funny, dude. It, it <laughs> yeah, was funny. I wish I'd have got to hear I that. I wish I would have got all of it on video. I wish I would have, like, you need walked, to I wish I would have walked up there and just started taking the video, like, right there by him, but I was like, oh, to, you know, <laughs> do I want to be that guy? We need that guy. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> we need a guy like that. Yeah, yeah we, we do. We that would be awesome to get a social media, like someone that's willing to work for free. Some, somebody that <laughs> doesn't give a fuck about getting in people's personal space. Yeah, like, yeah. With like all a camera, with like, a camera. I, I kind of, I went on, I went live when we was out talking to Kane for a minute on Instagram, and then I was sitting there like, he he didn't see me. I don't think he saw me, so I didn't want him to turn around and have my fucking phone in his face. Like, so I, I shut it off kind of. To me, like some of that stuff though too is like if you want it to be natural, be I, there. Yeah, you, you you need to not record it because then he has to be like not himself. Because he in a way to, like kind of has to watch what he says. Yeah, because probably. you don't want it on video. Yeah. The last yeah. thing you want is some say something stupid on video and then it fucking. Back, you know, you know so, and you, you can be more of yourself. And in my personal opinion, I'm not saying he wouldn't be himself. I don't know, but. Unfortunately, you know, one thing Kane used to do all the time in his pictures, you know, if someone asked, he would choke people. Like, yeah. if they asked him, you know, you could get choked. Unfortunately, there's a fucking idiot out there that when he does choke somebody, you can feel him. He will legit choke you for the picture. Yeah, they and, try to sue his ass. Yeah, they, they tried to sue him because of that. And I don't know if it was because they were just out to, they was like, oh, yeah, we're going to say we're going to do it and then take a picture and said he choked me or whatever. But, yeah, so he can't do anything violent at all in his no in any of his pictures but now. That's one of the pictures if we had time and everything, and then nothing was rushed. I was wanting to make it look like he can't do nothing violent, so maybe we could do something violent to him. You know, not really do it, but of course. But I wanted well, my whole idea was I wanted all the Tennessee Horror News crew to act like they're about to go at him and fucking whoop his ass or something. <laughs> if we all had hatchets, it would have been or machetes. It would have been cool. Machetes and hatchets, yeah. since he's yeah. in both of those yeah. movies. And masks. Oh, the, now, yeah, there's one thing at the end of the movie that you should definitely stay for the credits. Yeah. Or watch the credits when there's you do watch it. Scene, yeah. yeah. It's a pretty pretty it's funny, 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 funny. Uh, I guess, what would it be, like a, a homage, I guess? Yeah. Yeah, kind of an Easter egg. Yeah, because, there you go, Easter yeah. egg. But, <clears throat> because, like, like Harrison said before the movie, it's real and it's the original and I was like what the fuck and I was waiting on you know like something completely different and it popped up and I was like oh shit <laughs> so yeah definitely watch that yeah. watch the credits and the credits like I say the credits aren't long and it's not like it's all the way at the end of the credits like the Marvel movies make you wait no, what is it like? Maybe it's like a minute in. Yeah, a minute like, I in. thought when he said halfway, like I, I was thinking, well, damn, we're gonna be sitting here five minutes because credits usually last ten. And yeah. it was like right there. I was like, oh shit! Well, check that out. So yeah, all, all in all, though, I'm glad we, we got to see time. it in theaters because the whole experience in the whole was amazing. Because like I said, it helped that Kane Hodder was there. So, and then, like, the first few minutes of the movie, maybe 10, 15, you hear Kane Hodder back there talking, yeah. saying, you know, what, you know, the, this is what I say here. And, and it's like you're getting the live commentary from the guy that's yeah. the main part of this movie. And uh, just being able to get to meet more of the, you know, 
Tennessee Horror News crew. It's no, I- awesome. <laughs> I have someone say like she she come up to me. We she heard about this. The only play, only reason she heard about this is because I was posting on Horror Amino. Yeah. But she come out and plus we we met her at Full Moon Tattoo yeah. Horror Festival last year. But what I thought yeah, we actually said she actually talked to us for oh, five yeah. ten minutes at there. I mean, which she's like you know Kane Kane Hodder is cool and all. I want to get a picture of him, but. You're you're cool too, so I want to get a selfie with you. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess in some way, we're slowly becoming celebrities. <laughs> hey, I got recognized by uh, a fucking director. Yeah, George. George is awesome. George dude. Yeah, shout out to George Demick. That dude. Oh, yeah, I was going to say I appreciate George coming out, you know. And also Dieter Spears and coming, Dieter out, coming out. And just, you know, because they're filmmakers themselves. It's just awesome to have, you know, in the area and them come out to, you know, something that we're hosting. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, and then. <clears throat> appreciate the support. I guess like another. Lot. Like it means a lot. I got my head swelled after the thing, too, because people are like, you pulled it off. You pulled it off and all this, so. Yeah, we appreciate the kind words. I mean, it, 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 it means a lot. I mean, it, it means a whole lot. Like, yeah, when we we didn't find out till the day of the premiere that it sold out. So I was at work when I found out, and I found out, I was like, you mean I have fucking 10 hours pretty much to promote a 9 o'clock showing and try to sell it out. And it took us about a week to do this one, the 7 o'clock one. I was like... Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Like, it's just one week. Yeah, this. It, it didn't could get you a lot imagine of, if we would if we would have had a couple months to promote this, man? I bet we could have sold out two shows. You probably could have sold people. out a weekend or more. I mean, it would have been way like if you'd had time. And that's the thing. It's just you got to take the chance that you take what you got and run with it because so I guess you it, might miss it. You know. So I guess it does feel good to know that it, we sold out a show and. A week. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. It helped that yeah. Kane was coming, though. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Ben Dixon yeah. knowing Kane is like, yeah. That, we, like I said, so we much. lucked up on that one because... Every, the stars aligned, and Tim Jam hooked it up with Hanover House, said, contact this guy. That guy contact the fucking star of the movie, and like, the shit just aligned. Because who... How, all in place. And, and all in all... And all Kane might not be at any of the other premieres that go on. If there's a hundred premieres, yeah. he might be at a few. And so he's at the one in Nashville, though, baby. And if yes. you, if you, yes, yeah, and if you, you didn't live in this area, you should have drove. Yeah, bitch. I mean, like like we said earlier, old girl drove in from Atlanta, fucking Atlanta dude. There's she had a, a three and a half hour drive. Is there was another girl that drove that had a damn poster. Is that the one? No, that was. Are you talking about Kayla? Kayla. Okay, yeah. I don't know yeah. where she come from. Well, yeah, one girl had a poster uh, said she drove. But I think she kind of knew Kane because Kane was like acting like nah, he, fool. That no, nah, they didn't. She didn't know. Uh, she kind of hung her. She kind of clung on to our. Uh, yeah, y'all's group. Oh, okay, like, okay. That yeah, yeah I, yeah, I remember yeah. that now. Yeah, we'll we we'll we'll talk more about that later. Okay. Yeah, that's not that, that's it's not, not podcast talk. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, <laughs> that's, we that's, could record it and just cut it out and like if you want to hear the rest of no, this, you gotta pay. That's like personal stuff <laughs> that probably don't need to be. Oh, okay. bro. <laughs> yeah, that's probably like a personal Anyways, thing that don't need to be. Shut up, man! I was just I'm, trying to get it hyped up. <laughs> <laughs> You should donate uh, thirty dollars to the Patreon, though. <laughs> we'll yeah. fucking definitely yeah, we'll, be able to hear it. <laughs> we'll fucking live yeah. to you. <laughs> we'll live stream you. Play thirty dollars to the Patreon, <laughs> and we'll keep you the raw recordings of all the podcasts and all the dumb shit that we say. To <laughs> you can hear what I said. No, all. you don't want to. There's some stuff that we cut out that cannot be ever. <laughs> <laughs> can never go. Don't out. tell them that. <laughs> maybe, maybe so. Then they want to hear. <laughs> no, <I'm> just... <laughs> and we'll only do it on a live stream where you, no one else can like video record it or <laughs> yeah. they'll record it. <laughs> well, I guess they could record it with their phone or something. But Patreon only live streams once a month on, at the thirty dollars here. What's up? <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. You hear? You heard it here. Yeah, Daddy's breaking yeah. news. 
<laughs> yeah, Yetis make shit up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the next episode of Yetis Podcast. <laughs> Of Yeti's news breakings. <laughs> news breakings. <laughs> oh, Yeti the news, news breakings news. soldier. <laughs> but you know, I, you said we didn't want to talk about. But to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. You know, it's a while out. Go ahead and kind of get out there. But Yeti, I'm gonna let Yeti take reins on this. I will be there. But I want him since I put him as the. What did I say? The East, East Regional. East Regional. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. I, I, what I did I say? It. I can't remember how I worded yeah. it. Yeah. I I'm going to kind of let yeah. Yeti take the reins on this, but I will, I'm going to probably show up to CreepyCon. Yeah, that's in August. Because I want Yeti to have fun with it. Yeah, y'all definitely got to come down, man. Johnny down there. probably won't because he's going to be a little bitch about it. Well, that's fucking in August. I don't know what's going on in August. Plan on it. Well, we'll Fuck see. that! Take time off now. <laughs> Yeti drove for almost four hours to come with us, to see us or whatever in the movie. He comes to see Kane Otter. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Damn it, my, Yeti! My you were supposed to be like, no, I didn't. I come to see you. Yeah, y'all. Yeti no. he just laughed and he's like, uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> fuck well, you guys. No, I'm just no, kidding. No, he was coming home, anyways. He was going to come in. The highlight of my night was meeting y'all and fucking George Demick. Uh, or meeting, not fucking George Demick. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck Damn, did y'all do? Guys, what are we on? Damn. Meeting George Demick. <laughs> Hanging out with you guys and meeting George Demick. I mean, Kane not Otter, no. down to earth dude, super fucking cool, and it was awesome to meet him. I mean, he's a, he's a beast. He's got a kill count like nobody else. But, like, me hanging out with you guys and meeting George Fennick, that was the highlights of my night, dude. I just put it over the top. Yeah. Well, well I'm going to... Well, I'm, I'm probably going to go, because I'd like to go to the Creepy Con and well, be able to hang out and chill, probably, like, in a, in, a, in a... But you know what I'm saying? We'll, like, we'll probably only go on a Saturday, so... But and we won't be able to do yeah. it, you know. Like like Yeti did, you know, he drove down and drove back. That's probably what we'll end up doing. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, like, go and be able to... Not in such a and then, an environment that's. But going guess to. who's also going to be there? The Amanda and them from the Sun. What is it called? Oh my the boutique. Yeah, the boutique. Sorry, the tent fam is going to be there. Yeah, they're going to be Maybe. there making shirts. And um, Chicago Rock. Chicago Rock's going to be. Oh, yeah, they're going to be, be showing to Chicago again. Rock there. Yeah, so, yeah, you've seen that movie, right? It's like we got a little convention family wow. going on. Dude, if you get the opportunity, if they show Chicago Rock like, during they, the day and you can go watch it, fucking go watch that movie. It's fucking You'll amazing. fucking love I it, I love that movie. And hopefully I wish. That, I would, I'm, I'm going to buy the DVD when we go because I want to go there and buy it. Yeah, so uh, I, I, Yeti... I can buy it on Amazon, but... We'll try to set something up. Maybe we can do like a... If it so happened to work out the, the screenings on a Saturday... We can set up where we can monitor, monetize, not monetize, moder, moderate, moderate, bleh, moderate the panel with them or intro the movie with them. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. To, and to anybody who came out to Creepy Con and saw our butt ass naked booth last year, shit will be different this year. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get a banner out there in time, and I'm gonna. Well, there will be a banner this year. So there will be more than a banner. Yes, there will be. I, I, I will. We will be sure it will be decorated. It will. There will be a banner. There will probably be stuff for you to spend your money on. Uh, I mean, just proper preparation prevents pissing off. Damn, form. Yeti, you're making it where we're gonna have to now get shirts made. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say shirts. You can buy, I mean, well, merch. I'm man. selling autographs. Yeah, I'm twenty dollars. You can get yeah. Jim Jam's autograph. Yeah, mm-hmm. pictures, autographs. Uh, we'll do a photo op. Fifty cents should, an autograph. Should I by August? I should have the Rafe costume. But uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds good. I don't know. 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 <laughs> It's going to be good, though. I'm yeah. not sure how, what we're going to do, but it's going to be good. We have, Maybe uh, we can get something awesome, awesome and do a raffle. So we got about so, four, about what, four what months. What I'm looking for, though, to Creepy Con, with it being different than uh, Con Nougat, because Con Nougat is multi-fandom. Creepy Con is just one. Oh, horror. 
Yeah. So that's what, like, if I really want to go, like, I, I will show up. I mean. You yeah. got to know it. Well, I mean, I will. It's not like I wouldn't. Just with work and everything. You have I don't know. to now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Regardless. I mean, I'd like to be able to stay, stay a night there, but, you know. Yeah, it's, it's going to be. I, I mean, it would be really cool if y'all could come down and, like, we could. Y'all could just be here for a day because there's, like, there's a bunch of cool shit around here. Yeah, that's, like, a, that's what I'm that. saying. Like, that's why I'd like to yeah, be able to go. Yeah, we can try to, we'll try to leave out early that morning and definitely make a whole day out of it. And oh, yeah. I'll leave out about four. Definitely all of us. Maybe we can talk Dano into coming down, too. Oh, yeah. And Loose seems to be, like, down for, you know, to go anywhere because, yeah. you know, that's a four-hour drive, I know, but. Well, see, but in, in Nashville, it's different because you can hit 840. And it's like a two and a half hour drive for us in Manchester. It is like a three to four hour drive. It's yeah. fucked up because we don't have that stretch of the interstate to bypass everything. When yeah. they built eight forty, it went from Knoxville to Nashville, okay. and it makes it way faster. But for us, fucking here, even though we're an hour away from Nashville, it still makes it further away for us. It's crazy. Mm. So yeah, got some awesome things coming up, and then not much longer after. Uh, Creepy con. It'll be another year of full moon. Yep. Anyways, we won't talk about that because there ain't really much to talk about yet. But I uh, appreciate Yeti you coming on, Yeti, and I uh, appreciate everything you do for Tennessee Horror News and being a part of the crew. Appreciate all the crew. Like I'm. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's one thing. Like getting to meet all the crew and actually, because I don't talk to a lot of you and you know I just don't. I don't get on social media a whole lot, but I do appreciate what y'all do. Like, that goes for everyone. Best team I've ever been on, man. Bar none. Well, hell yeah. Cause, <laughs> you know, y'all are all, it's still a pretty new thing. And it's pretty much been so. Well, like, you got to think, like, how many riders have we gone through? To get what we got now? Yeah. The, where fucking. people want to stay and, like, they continue. Like, Yeti, he's probably been the longest, mm -hmm. like, you know, hanging around. At least he's. Like, I'm a. I'm really proud of our fucking little writers and we got. Yeah, that's what I mean. Everybody's amazing. So, it, it, and I keep on throwing at them ideas for different stuff, and they're probably like, "Man, can we finish this?" <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, "Let's try this. Let's try that. Let's try this." <laughs> and one day this will work, and we will be. Yeah, one day the, the stars will align again, and uh. Money will fall out I'll of the heavens. I'll sacrifice heaven. another goat and yeah. something like that. Yeah, money will, <laughs> money will fall out of the heavens and we will be wealthy. And everybody will <laughs> get paid. But we appreciate it. You yeah. get $100,000. You get a Okay, yeah, man. Now you're really overstretching it. <laughs> I just want my Oprah, Oprah moment. Oprah. Yeah, you I done just, turned into Oprah. You moment. get a free car. Yeah, this motherfucker but what I don't tell you is it's a really a, like a die-cast car. Yeah. <laughs> Yeti, do you want a Hummer? I got a little H2 Hummer that uh, I will get uh, a Matchbox. <laughs> hey, that would be cool to get a Matchbox car made with the logo on it. Oh, oh yeah. So that's all we got. <laughs> no. No. Johnny can try to sign off for five. <laughs> yeah, that's this just uh, went off the rails. Cut it. Cut it. All right. Yeti, yeah, we appreciate you coming on. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Good times as always. Hell yeah. Hit this shit up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Hormino, and all them other Snapchat and YouTube and just. Oh, we, I hate to, uh, the Pink horror Yeti basement. Up. The horror basement podcast has uh, its own Twitter account, which is nothing much on there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. my own Twitter account, much on there either. Yeah, yeah, so, he's yeah, on. Of yeah, I was, on Instagram. I will tag him on all of it. He never likes it. <laughs> Yeti, uh, what's your Instagram, Yeti? Uh, the Yeti six one six. Yeah, the Yeti six one six. So yeah, it's, I just. Find a post on the fucking on the Tennessee Horror News Instagram where I've wrote some shit, and there'll be a link. There yeah. we go. Or yeah, just go to the fucking tnhorror dot com, and you'll be able to find everybody's yeah, hey, social media. Yeah, you, know, you can go to tnhorror dot com, and you can follow all of the writers yeah, on exactly. all of their social media. Exactly. I don't know why and I'm not saying. 
just how fucking boring I really am. <laughs> See all the articles we got from Yeti and a couple other writers, and thanks for listening to this podcast. That's all we got. We out. All right, y'all. Peace.